Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market analysis dated 13 April 2023. Nifty opened slightly up around 17,807.33, and then it made a high of 17,842. Overall the markets looked flat today. Even at the time of close, Nifty managed to continue its uptrend and closed around 17,828, which is a good sign. Similarly Sensex jumped 38.23 points to give a closing of 60,431. On the sectoral front, the Information Technology Index shed 2%, while Capital Goods, Pharma and Oil and Gas Indices were down 0.5% each. On the other hand, PSU Bank and Realty Indices rose a percent each. Now, talking about the three stocks that have managed to be in gainers list today are Indusin Bank, HDFC Life, Ica Motors. Top three stocks mentioned above rose by 3.21%, 2.86% and 2.71% respectively. On the other hand, we will talk about those three stocks which ended as top losers. They are Infosys, Tech Mahindra and HCL Tech, they fell within the range of negative 2.07% to 2.74% respectively. For the development in the corporate segment, we have Tata Consultancy Services missed streets estimates for the fourth, for the development in the corporate segment, we have Tata Consultancy Services missed streets estimates for the fourth quarter of financial year 2023. The IT giant garnered a consolidated pat of 11,392 Indian rupees crore in quarter 4, financial year 2023, registering a growth of 14.8% year on year. Meanwhile, its revenue from operations stood jumped by 16.9% year on year to 59,160, 2 Indian rupees crore. TCS also declared a final dividend of 24 Indian rupees per equity share for the fiscal year. TCS share price gained by 1% on Wednesday with quarter 4 earnings in focus. Adventswar Enterprises share was locked in a 5% upper circuit at Rs 54.99 on April 13 morning, a day after marquee investor Purin Juvaliath bought a 1.43% stake in the company through open market transactions. The stock has surged 22% in the past week. Purinju purchased 1.3%. Lark shares in the information technology solutions provider at an average price of 52.18 rupees a share. The ACE investor is known for his picks in the small cap space and some of his other investments include Orient Bell, Durably Industries and Shalimar Paints. Anand Roti Wealth reported a 23% year-on-year rise in consolidated net profit for the quarter ended March to 42.6 rupees crore on the back of a 27% growth in revenue to 143 rupees crore. For financial year 2023, the wealth management firm reported a consolidated net profit of 169 rupees crore, up 33% from the year ago period. Total revenue rose 31% to 558 rupees crore. The board declared a final dividend of 7 rupees a share. The total dividend for FY23 stood at 12 rupees per share. The company's assets under management grew by a strong 18% year on year to 38,993 rupees crore. The RBI has approved the reappointment of Sanjay Ugawal as Managing Director and CEO for three years with effect from April 19. IT major Infosys share price tanked 1.77% in early trade on Thursday, to Rs per share ahead of its quarter for financial year 2023 earnings report. The firm's share price gained 1.63% in trade on Wednesday, closing at Rs per equity share. The company is projected to report moderate growth figures for the quarter concluded in March, both in terms of constant currency and USD. Experts anticipated that the IT major will be impacted by the usual seasonal slowdown and uncertain macroeconomic conditions. Rail Vikas Nigam has received a letter of award from Northwestern Railway for provision of automatic block signaling on Madasarkun, section of Japa Division. The project is worth 63 rupees crore. AU Small Finance Bank in daily time frame is trading around 666.15 points with a change of 14.82% and is trading with a net volume of around 22.47 million shares. 
the share price is trading above its moving average 582.45 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 71.51. An RSI of above 50 may indicate that the stock is in overbought region. DB Realty Limited in daily time frame is trading at 92.1 points with a change of 20%, and is trading with a net volume of around 2.74 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 72.5. Shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 72.46. For stocks to watch, we have. Mazagan Dock looks good on current market price of 703.65. It can be bought at 710 rupees keeping target of 755 rupees with stop loss of 688. Lupin looks good on current market price of 671.4. It can be bought at 680 rupees keeping target of 725 rupees with stop loss of 658. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.